Everybody, welcome back to our Verisurf Tech Tips with QTE. I'm Matt, and we are going to be going through Automate today, and specifically going through comments. We will be going through other measurements and features in other videos, but today's topic is going to be comments on making workflow a little bit easier on the shop floor. So I got a little um, trial I ran through right here on the Verisurf test part. Mine is a CMM program, so some of these features might not make sense to an arm. I got a single point alignment, and then I got a probe I grabbed. But other than that, it's going to be very similar. So I like to always have it pull up with the report header first. We can load our settings from previous files if we have them saved. And then from here, what I like to get started. So I always have it pull up saying, please make sure that you are using the correct revision and double check all setup notes. So from here, we can just press OK. Then the first thing it's going to pull up is our, sorry, I clicked out of it, our part setup. So in here, we can either, set, on mine, it's just Sharpie lines. So on other instances, we can set this up where you have it on one, two, three blocks, or if you have it clamping in certain places, this is where you can put those notes in for the next person to run the part. Let's say this was a complicated part to get set up. Now you can save all these notes so the next person doesn't have to figure it out all over again. So we're going to press OK. It's going to pull up the print now. Press OK. Pull up the next page. This could also have it set up where it's pulling up specs. So you're saving time digging into files each time. This is going to pull up with the part. Then the first thing that pulls up is our single point alignment. So we can see it's right here. We can press OK. It's going to go over and it's going to grab our single point. And then we can press accept. And now it pulls up saying auto alignment path, make sure it's clear. So we can see, if, let's say we're using on the CMM, if we're pushing up against angles or blocks that need to be removed after the fact, this is a good double check to make sure people do that. So we can close these down and press OK. Now it's going to go and do this alignment. So all these notes are really... Um, huge time savers because I know some of my customers here, you're digging almost 10 folders deep to grab some of this stuff. And if it can just pull it up for you, it makes it a lot easier on the guys, especially if it's a beginner guy. He's not going through all the steps that the more advanced guy already did checking this part the first time around. Whether it's the setup or if it's finding all the images, you can also put special notes on the... Um, little pop-ups there if a print has changes. It's all to make it run smoother and more efficient. Um, that's really all I have for this video. I wanted to keep it nice and sweet and short. I don't want to put too much in here for you guys. And then we also have our manual entries that we can do inside of Automate. So if you guys have any questions about this or any comments, or if you have other stuff that you want to see within Automate, feel free to reply to the email and let us know what you want to see. And, and um, I'll try to get something together for the next tech video. Hope this was helpful. Like I said, if you got any questions on this, if this was stuff you want to learn, let me know. Other than that, have a good day and keep an eye out for the next video.